Today in Vancouver, in front of the U.S. Consulate, Aboriginals from all over Canada gathered in support of Leonard Pelche. They wanted to let the government know that they are not happy. February 6th will mark 35 years of incarceration. to support him because he fought for us to have this right, to have the drum, to have the regalias. During all this time, my family and allies have discovered how far the government will go, will go to wrongly convict and imprison someone they know is innocent. There's, there's no evidence to link him directly to the killings of two FBI agents in South Dakota in 1976. But basically what, what has happened is that he's been convicted anyway. There's a number in uh, a number of actions happening in uh, the US, also in Europe, Eastern Europe. Indigenous people uh, in North America that are be, being uh, properly, improperly prosecuted by, uh, by this system. So uh, I'm just here to show support and uh, Ask the Americans to, like you know, take a good look at their own, their own justice system, and uh, you know, look at the facts, you know, and uh, what is real is real, and what isn't it isn't. You know. Twenty years old, and I had a son at that time. He's now 35 years old, and then Telche is still incarcerated. It's been 36 years now. And now I'm a grandmother, and he's still incarcerated. What's your name, and what brings you here today? Uh, my name is Modaquis. I'm from the Simshian Nation, and I'm here to support Leonard Peltier and John Gray. Oh, they make a fire for <laughs> Uh, rallies and meetings like this uh, bring us together and we have to get that message out to the people. We have to continue and freeing Leonard Peltier is just another step in the right direction for sovereignty and solidarity amongst each other.